Hey everyone, it's Tyler, the Antenna Man. Recently, a major issue has been brought to my attention. It first began with an email from Tableau stating that the shipment of their ATSC 3.0 DVR will be delayed due to broadcasters encrypting their signals with digital rights management, also known as DRM. What does this type of encryption mean not only for people who already purchased an ATSC 3.0 tuner, but for free over the air TV as a whole? Will the major networks start to go behind a paywall? Stay tuned to find out. If you're a cord cutter or use an antenna, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to receive a notification whenever I post a new video. So the very scary word that's being tossed around is encryption. Yes, broadcasters will begin to encrypt their ATSC 3.0 signals by the summer, which means that current ATSC 3.0 tuners without DRM embedded will not be able to pick up the channels. Does this mean that literally every ATSC 3.0 tuner already purchased will become obsolete? Does the encryption mean that a subscription will be required to view over-the-air channels once ATSC 1.0 shuts off? Thankfully, the answer to both is no, at least for most of you. A simple software update should be able to embed the DRM key to decode the signals. In fact, on the ATSC 3.0 Security Authority website, the following brands are listed as partners, so if you own an ATSC 3.0 tuner made by one of these companies, you should be fine with an update. Nuvio is Tableau, by the way. Why are broadcasters encrypting their signals? Apparently, it has to do with unauthorized rebroadcasting of their content, likely to crack down on illegal IPTV services. At least for now, there isn't going to be a fee to access them. But what about in the future? I covered this in previous videos of mine, but I will mention it again for those of you who haven't seen them. While there will be some content behind a paywall in the future with NextGen TV, it's very unlikely to happen with all the local channels we receive for free now. The FCC currently and has always required the main dot one channel of any broadcast signal to be free and open to the public. Everything else could be behind a paywall and broadcasters had the freedom to put their channels behind a paywall but instead chose to embrace over the air TV by offering a variety of sub channels for free. I personally predict that some markets will offer premium channels like ESPN over the air for a monthly fee. Some stations may also charge a fee for 4K. The reality is that broadcasters are investing heavily in ATSC 3.0 next-gen TV for additional revenue sources, which we will start to see as the years go on. Thanks to the additional channel capacity, it shouldn't impact free over-the-air channels like ABC, NBC, CBS, Fox, and PBS. So to summarize this video, the encryption that's going on ATSC 3.0 signals in the future is mainly to protect broadcasters from piracy. Current next-gen tuners will be fine with a software update. This video, along with other videos I made, is proof that we are still in the very, 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 very early stages of ATSC 3.0. There are only two main reasons to upgrade your tuner right now, which I covered in a previous video of mine attached in the description. Please do not rush out and buy a new tuner or call a DVR review obsolete because it doesn't have a 3.0 tuner built in. The broadcasters are literally still working on the way signals are encoded and decoded. The Advanced Television Systems Committee, also known as ATSC, couldn't even make up their mind on what to call the new TV standard. Is it ATSC 3.0 or Next Gen TV? Apparently both. Make sure to check out my other videos on ATSC 3.0 Next Gen TV. I cover a variety of topics including the reception, if an internet connection is required, and what happened to ATSC 2.0. Links to all the videos are attached in the description of the video. Thanks again for watching this YouTube video. An additional thanks to everyone who supports me on Patreon or is a member of my YouTube channel. If my videos helped you cut the cord or prevented you from wasting money on a new tuner that's in the very, 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 very early stages of development, and you'd like to help support my channel while gaining exclusive perks, such as behind the scenes content, access to my videos ad free one day early, and direct contact with me, visit patreon.com forward slash antenna man or click the join button in this video. If you're on Facebook, you can like my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash antenna man PA. 
If you're not on Facebook and would like to receive email updates whenever I post new videos, feel free to sign up to my email list. I attached a link in the description of the video. Stay tuned to my YouTube channel for more cord cutting and time related information and have an awesome day.